Hey everyone, so I made a Roblox aimbot script and I'm going to show you guys how to use it in the game Arsenal. This should work in almost every other Roblox game, though it will be buggy in games like Phantom Forces and Strucid. I did leave a bunch of comments for you guys to look to instead of needing to come back to this video every single time, so do read those. So like it said, this was made for exploits using the We Are Devs API, such as JJSploit. So if you really want to use the script, go ahead and download JJSploit unless there's another exploit that you prefer to use, like your own custom exploit using the We Are Devs API. You're going to want to get into a game and then attach JJSploit. So do that. And then once you get the once you get the notification on the bottom right, you know that it's injected, ready to use. Then we can paste in our script. At the moment, the script does not come with JJSploit. I might just add it sometime in the future, but until then, you're gonna want to download the script on the website. It's in the script section on weirdevs.net, but I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Same thing for JJSploit. Once you have that script, copy it, go into the Lua executor, and paste. Execute. If you look at the script, there is some configuration settings that you can do, like aimbot team check. Basically, if it's false, then it's gonna aim at every single player in the game, like shown. Actually, let me turn on the ESP so we can know where everyone is. So toggle ESP and then team check so it doesn't put an ESP on my teammates. So like you saw, team check is false and it is aiming at my own teammates. If we were to set team check to true, it should stop aiming at teammates and then it will aim at only enemies. You'd want to set it for false for games that are basically free for alls because obviously you guys aren't on the same team. And now you see that it's only aiming at enemies. You guys see how smooth this is? So say the enemy is on the other side of this wall, but then you see somebody right there and he's in view. I did add a setting so that it can aim at people who are only in view because what if someone's standing right here but it's aiming at the other person on the other side of this wall that would suck because then that leaves this person to kill you. You can look at this setting, aimbot wall check and set it to true. And now with true, it's only going to aim at the closest visible player. So we can just copy that line and paste that in. You don't have to rerun the entire script with the setting change, you could just run that one line with your change. So execute. Now if we just hold click and run through the game, it'll just quickly aim at people who are in view. Didn't even view, that's weird. <laughs> there we go, winner. Um. The thing about this wall check is that it does take up a lot more resources in game, so you can lag if you use it. I wouldn't recommend using it if you have like a weaker computer, but if you do have a good computer, it's an awesome feature to take advantage of. If you do occasionally check in on the script, download updates, maybe it will be better in terms of performance, but right now that is the case. It takes up a lot of resources to enable wall check. For the final setting, aimbot bypass. Like you guys saw in game, it tracked heads perfectly, like it actually snapped onto player's head dead center so you know that for every click it will hit their head, not accounting for bullet drop and bullet speed. But because this uses camera manipulation, it does make it easy for games to detect this. So for games that are third person only, if it suddenly sees that you're in first person, obviously you're cheating, doing something that's unnatural and then the game will ban you. So if we set aimbot bypass to true, instead of using camera manipulation, it will simulate mouse movement. So it actually makes your mouse move to the left, right, up, down, blah, blah. It's much harder to detect because it's actual mouse movement. The trade off is it comes with a lot of bugs. It lacks smoothness. It's not gonna be like bypass false, how it snaps to the head live. There is gonna be a little delay. And because it's not a delay, that makes it not 100% accurate. Besides the lack of smoothness, there is another serious bug which might actually annoy almost everyone of you that would use this. If a player is directly behind you, it will track them as if they're behind you. Basically, your back is facing them at all times, and obviously you won't be able to shoot them. It's not going to be like this forever though, I'm sure I can fix this. Right now I don't have a solution. Change this to true and show you what that's like here. It's slightly behind, but it still works. If your aim is actual garbage, you could use this. 
So now I'm going to show the bug with players who are directly behind that I just explained earlier. I will need to turn off wall check for this because it is going to make it harder to demonstrate. The bug does still apply though for wall check, so leaving it true does not solve this. We see that there are enemies right here, right? If I give them my back and aim, it starts to track them as if they're directly in front of me, which is stupid, but that is the problem. Basically, you don't want to hold your aim every single time, so if you see somebody who's like for sure close to you, that's when you start to aim. And after you get that kill, you might want to let go of aim too because your camera just goes stupid if there's a bunch of players around you. That pretty much concludes this explanation. Again, links are in the description. Thank you for watching and bye. I just found a cheater. <laughs>